Central bank money forms the core of our global monetary system, offering a foundation of safety, neutrality, accessibility, and integrity. As economies become increasingly digital, central banks are considering the possibilities and challenges of a retail central bank digital currency, or CBDC. But designing a well-functioning retail CBDC system is not a simple task. While the central bank will play a critical role in operating the core of the system and ensuring sound and secure payments, payment needs of the general public are diverse and constantly evolving. One way to meet this demand is through a vibrant community of intermediaries who, through open competition, can provide innovative and accessible payment services and handle the large operational burden of customer-facing activities. However, increased access and a greater number of intermediaries could heighten exposure to cybersecurity threats. For CBDC as a critical financial market infrastructure, cybersecurity is essential. With all this in mind, Project Sela tests the feasibility of an accessible and cybersecure CBDC ecosystem through hands-on building of a proof of concept that is conducted through the lens of policy, legal, cybersecurity, and technology. The ecosystem is designed to maximize access to CBDC for users and payment service providers, while also minimizing the associated cybersecurity risk through preventative architecture design. The project also aims to preserve the desirable attributes of cash and capture the benefits of digitalization. Sela is a joint experiment between the BIS Innovation Hub Hong Kong Center, the Bank of Israel, and the Hong Kong Monetary Authority. It is also supported by private sector partners, FIS, M10, Clifford Chance, and Checkpoint Software Technologies. The main participants in the Sela architecture include a central bank that operates the CBDC platform and RTGS system, funding institutions that manage customer deposits and ATMs, a new type of intermediary called an access enabler that provides CBDC services and all other customer facing operations, and end users, any entity with retail payment needs. Access enablers play a critical role in increasing access to CBDC services, developing innovative CBDC payment solutions, and intermediating between the central bank and end customers. A defining attribute of these enablers is that they never hold customer funds. This distinguishes them from intermediaries commonly seen in today's systems, where intermediaries need to hold liquidity or client funds on their balance sheet. Consider, for example, an end user named Alice paying with a credit card to a merchant. The funds go from Alice's bank account to her card issuing bank, to the merchant's acquiring bank, and finally to the merchant's bank account. The value transfer isn't instant, and intermediaries need to take possession of the funds or hold liquidity against their commitments along the payment chain. This imposes costs that are often passed to the end user. In Sela's architecture, messages move between participants, but CBDC ownership moves instantly and directly between Alice and the merchant, settled on the CBDC ledger. Since access enablers don't hold customer funds, this may lower the barrier of entry for providing CBDC services, leading to a more vibrant and competitive payments ecosystem. At the same time, this increased access should not come at the cost of greater cybersecurity risks. Sela's architecture attempts to minimize cybersecurity risk by preventative design, paying special focus on careful storage and transmission of user data, authentication and authorization methods that create strong and flexible communication channels, and a risk-oriented redistribution of programmability. Project Sela demonstrates that an accessible CBDC ecosystem does not necessarily come at the cost of greater cybersecurity risk. Access to CBDC can be supported by a novel type of intermediary called an access enabler that through lower barriers of entry can increase the competition and innovation in payment services. Sela's findings show promise that with careful preventative architecture design, cybersecurity risks can be mitigated.